The human body is like a giant company whose success and productivity depend on the cooperation of hundreds of departments. Overseeing much of this cooperation is the endocrine system, a group of organs whose job is to make hormones chemical messengers that travel throughout the body within the bloodstream. Let's talk about one organ in particular, the thyroid. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped organ located in the lower neck. Control of the thyroid starts in the brain at an area called the hypothalamus. Using hormones of its own, the hypothalamus sends a signal to a gland called the pituitary, causing it to release thyroid-stimulating hormone, or TSH. TSH travels through the bloodstream until it gets to the thyroid. Stimulated by TSH, the thyroid releases two hormones, T3 and T4, or thyroxin. Together, these are known simply as thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones have many important functions in the body. They control how fast your body uses the energy in the food you eat. They regulate body temperature, control the way muscles contract, and increase your heart rate, to name a few. Now, the amount of hormone released by the thyroid is very important. It's kind of like the importance of how much water you give a plant. Water it too little, and it will shrivel up. Water it too much, and it will drown. But with just the right amount, you have a happy, healthy plant. Your body is the same way. Without enough thyroid hormone, things start to go wrong. We call this hypothyroidism. It's characterized by symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, thinning hair, and depression. Too much thyroid hormone can also cause problems. This is known as hyperthyroidism. So what causes disorders like hyperthyroidism? According to the American Academy of Family Physicians, the most common cause of hyperthyroidism is a disease called Graves' disease. In fact, it's responsible for about 60 to 80% of all cases, usually seen in women between the ages of 30 to 50. This disease is seen four to 10 times more in women than in men. Graves' disease is what's called an autoimmune disorder, a type of disease in which the immune system attacks part of the body that aren't normally considered a threat. Here's how it works. The immune system produces a large protein called antibodies that recognize invaders such as viruses or bacteria. Antibodies have very specific binding sites that recognize pieces of these invaders. When an antibody comes across something foreign to your body, it binds to it and prevents you from getting sick. But with Graves' disease, the immune system produces antibodies that bind to receptors in the thyroid. These receptors exist as binding sites for incoming TSH. When it's bound to them, the thyroid cells know to make just the right amount of thyroid hormones. But when the antibody binds to them instead, these cells are overstimulated and produce an excess amount of hormone. This causes a variety of symptoms, such as an enlarged thyroid gland, excessive sweating, increased bowel movements, heat intolerance, nervousness, marked weight loss without a loss of appetite, and bulging of the eyes. Treatment for Graves' disease is usually the surgical removal of the thyroid or radioactive iodine treatment, followed by drug therapy. So you see, although Graves' disease is not curable, it is absolutely treatable with today's modern medicine.